guys, Igor here doing one more AppSumo review today, analyzing Typed, the tool that just arrived on AppSumo that claims to supercharge or your productivity with a tool that automatically organizes your files. I'm addicted to this kind of tool that helps you to research and to write. And Typed has a great potential. And I just bought the tier one and I like so much the workflow, the user interface, and I see myself using it to write with other tools that I have. The tool has a web clipper, a Chrome extension that you can use to get links to uh, use to write. Okay, and the document 2.0 that I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you how it works. You get all the features of the pro, pro plan and the difference here is the number of teammates and the total storage. You can go up to tier four where you get 150 teammates and more than one terabyte of total storage, 1.5 total storage to be precise. About the tier one by now is good for me, but I think the tier two has a great value because you, you, you go to 10 teammates and more than double your, your storage. And all the tiers have unlimited documents and projects. So you can write, write and write, no limit. The teammates are the number of people that can collaborate and write the document with you. Okay, so uh, if you are writing with more people, with a team of 10, for instance, you need to go for tier two. So uh, let's take a look how the tool works. iPad is also a sumo deal, so you can get it with more, uh, with almost 20% discount if you have plus uh, this week on App Sumo, and I'm gonna show you all the tool. Here you can manage your members. You can see my plan and billing that I have the tier one. You can see your storage here. The, uh, the number of your editors here. On members, you just need an email to or invite a viewer or invite an editor who will collaborate with, with you to create the document. On settings, you can create your space uh, name and icon. So it's pretty simple. Just add your logo and add your space name. And then let's go. Uh, remember that you can get the links and the content using their Chrome extension that is called Type It. I'm gonna show it on Chrome Store for you. So you just go here and you will save all your research with one click. And then you can use to write. They have more than four users, so they have a good MMR. Click here and just install the extension. So as you can see here, the tool is divided by projects. I'm going to create a new project here, YouTube, where I'm going to write my YouTube summaries. Okay. And here to academia, you can add those space to favoritize and then clicking on the star. Okay. And you can also change the icon here. Just click here, change the icon, pretty simple. I'm going to change my second one here as well. This one is cool. So, okay. And you need to uh, connect your account uh, to your Google Doc account. It's pretty simple. You do it with in a click of a button. Okay. And you click here to add a document. You can select to create a new document, open from local or Google Drive. Since I was working in a document using NIFT, I'm gonna open from local, the document that I already have. That's it, you can see my Google document here and I'm gonna write here. Remember that they will add the extensions, for instance, then you can use Grammarly inside type it. Those are features that they have on the roadmap. And when you are collaborating with uh, your teammates, you can create tasks, okay, to do and done. You can write anything here that you, you know, I still need to research about the topic. So you don't forget what you need to write. You can assign to anyone that, and, and also do a due date about that. Okay, those are the tasks features. That uh, text is about the new Buzz Lightweater, uh, Lightweater movie that I'm creating a video about that. And let's 
check a new article about that. I just found found a Washington Times article. I'm going to click on the extension. And I'm going to see that the resource will show up on my library here. So I used the extensions to research while I was browsing. And I found that article that would be good for me to help me to create my, my text here about Buzz Lightyear. Light here. And if I click here, you can see that I can read the article while I'm writing my text. I can drag and drop here, for instance, like that. Okay, it's really better for me to write. And I can use the reader mode, reader mode. Okay, so it will be better for me to read all the article. And I can use those reference here to write my article over here. And what kind of documents you can add on your resource? You can create a folder to add the document. You can add a new document here. As a resource, you can push the resource from your Google Drive. You can add a memo, just type in here what you want. You can also add a file here. I'm going to add an image here, for instance. You click on the image, it will show up here. And copy the image clicking here, and it will be and it's copied on the dashboard, and it will show up here. Pretty simple. If you want to delete your resource, just go here, delete it. You can also add from a new URL. You can use the extension, or you can add manually using the URL feature. I have a, a URL here. I'm going to drag and drop here, copy and paste, and it's done. It's here my new article. I'm using the reader mode. I can click here to open a new tab. Okay, so it's pretty simple and you can share with your teammates your projects. You can share to web, everyone will be able to see your link or only with your members, with your team, with your teammates. You can see my task here. My task can be pushed to my calendar as well. So it will integrate with all your Google Drive environment. And you can use also this for PowerPoint and Excel sheets. So it's not only for the Google Docs. You can see all the projects clicking in all here. Here on your recently view, you can see your docs, your resource. Okay. When you create a new doc, you can select docs, slides, and sheets. And you can select it on the project that you want to uh, add that feature. Okay. You can also create groups where you will divide your projects between them and create a new project inside a new group. You can use the research features to find any document, sheet, slides, memo, image, URL, Word, PPT, etc. So overall, I think that tool is pretty unique and can improve a lot your writing workflow with that document 2.0 feature online. It's better, much better than work, uh, than, you know, typing natively on Google Docs and the integration works properly and perfectly. I would totally recommend you to buy that deal about tier one and will likely upgrade it to tier two. This will be awesome to work with another AI copywriting tool and you know to upload your resource to write a book the potential the potential is great get it it may be the best sumo deal sumo uh, new deal on AppSumo right now if you like that review please click uh, on the link in the description because it helps me, me to keep going you just need to click to help me for free thank you so much bye, -bye.